what's going on guys arrow here and guys before we get into today's video i'm sure you all noticed the brand new avatar that's on screen right now and so i do want to give a huge shout out to per demonium for creating this awesome new avatar for my youtube channel he's definitely one of the most talented artists that i've ever seen and so if you guys ever need some artwork for your youtube channel or an avatar or something definitely go and ask him i'll have his link for twitter in the description below he's definitely the person to go to he has an amazing artwork style and i really love this guy's artwork so definitely be sure to go and check him out but anyways let's get into today's video all right so i just got finished watching nintendo's e3 spotlight or like their e3 presentation for this year and so there's definitely a lot of stuff to talk about and a lot of cool content that they showed so i'm going to be trying to go as fast as i can without making this video too long and just giving you guys my thoughts on all of the information that was shown so yeah let's get started Alright, now the first thing that was shown off during the spotlight was more gameplay on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So I know a lot of people who are excited about this game. I don't really play Xenoblade Chronicles, so I'm not really a huge fan of this or like a person to ask. But it does look like an interesting game. The graphics look nice. It looks like a cool game, especially the combat and all. It looks pretty nice. So hopefully it turns out to be a good game. I hope all of you guys who are fans of Xenoblade are happy with that. And I'm surprised that the game is still coming out in holiday 2017. I know a lot of people were talking about how like the game is most likely going to be delayed to coming out in 2018 but it looks like they're still sticking by it and it's going to be out this holiday so hopefully that turns out to be the case and yeah it just looks like a pretty good game overall all right next up we've got a brand new kirby game which was shown off and this game actually looks really interesting i really like it the mechanics in this game seem to be cool i think there was like one part i was looking at the trailer and it looked like kirby was able to like give a heart to someone or like enemies and like make them on his side or something like that so that was pretty cool it seems like the new interesting game mechanic but overall the game looks really nice it's running really smoothly the graphics look nice so i'm pretty excited about this game it is coming out in 2018 i'm pretty sure so i guess we still have to wait a year hopefully it'll be like a spring uh, title for next year or like an early title so we won't have to wait that long but either way the game looks interesting it looks fun and obviously Kirby's always a fun game to play so yeah it looks like an interesting brand new game all right, the next thing is definitely one of the best announcements that I heard during this entire E3 spotlight, and it's the fact that Pokemon is in fact going to be coming to the Nintendo Switch. And no, I'm not talking about Pokemon Tournament. So Mr. Ishihara, the president of the Pokemon Company, was once again shown a little bit during the spotlight, and he was talking a little bit about how Game Freak has already begun developing a core RPG Pokemon game for the Nintendo Switch, and so that's really exciting. I'm sure a lot of people right now, myself included, who've wanted a Pokemon game to come on the Nintendo Switch are very very happy right now i'm really happy like he said like the game might not release for more than a year and that's totally fine with me i don't care if it comes out in 2021 i just wanted confirmation that we are going to be getting a game and that's what he did say so i'm really excited for that i'm really looking forward to it i'm probably going to have a video on this like coming out maybe around the weekend or so where i talk a little bit more in depth about it and like my thoughts on what it could be and how it's going to function and stuff but i'm just really happy i mean either way i was pretty much predicting that it was going to come eventually to the nintendo switch i mean i I can understand why Game Freak didn't put a game this year because they want to make sure that the Nintendo Switch has a lot of sales and like a lot of people have them in their homes and then they can start releasing it. Also, it would take a really long time for them to be able to have a Pokemon game already in development and ready by this year. Like, you know, they said right there in that direct, it could be a year or more even for the game to actually release or like them to, you know, for it to come out. So it makes sense how if they just started development, we're probably going to have to wait a long time as this is going to be a console version of pokemon basically but yeah there's going to be a lot of potential for this game i'm really excited for it i can't wait to see more about it and yeah i told you guys right away i knew that pokemon was eventually going to have to come to the nintendo switch anyway it just made sense i mean the 3ds i mean it's a great console i really enjoyed the 3ds but i'm just telling you guys like the 3ds it's, it's pretty much over there's not much that uh, it's gonna have like sure it's got a few more games coming out and and stuff but like in in a year or two the 3DS is not going to be relevant anymore unless Nintendo has like a successor to the, the 3DS coming out really soon. The 3DS isn't going to be relevant and the Switch is basically the only other console that makes sense for the Pokemon games to go to. And so yeah, I'm just really excited that we are finally going to be getting a Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch. 
Alright, this next thing is also another huge announcement from Nintendo's E3 presentation, and that's the fact that we're going to be getting Metroid Prime 4 on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I know a lot of people who are probably so happy at hearing this information, because there have been people who have been begging at Nintendo to create a new Metroid game for so many years now, and all of you people have finally gotten your wish granted, and Nintendo is creating a brand new Metroid game. Now, it says that the game has now been in development, so it looks like you're probably going to have to wait a while until we can actually get some information on the game. And some gameplay and it'll probably be a while until the game will actually release but I'm sure you guys are just happy that now you have confirmation that a new Metroid game is going to be happening and so I'm sure that's going to be a huge title for Nintendo either next year or whenever they decide to show it but I'm sure a lot of you guys are really happy by that and I am too so I can't wait to see more information and hear about this Metroid game. Alright, next up we also have something that was really cool and shown off during the presentation, and that's a brand new Yoshi game, and that looks pretty cool as well. I don't think they have a full title for this game yet, because it just said it was called Yoshi. I don't think that's going to be the actual title. So it looks like a really interesting game. When I first saw like the reveal for this, I was thinking like it's going to be like a Wooly World port or something, but then I saw that it was like a brand new game and it wasn't made out of yarn or anything, but it definitely looks interesting. I mean, it has like the whole Yoshi mechanic with throwing eggs and stuff, so I'm sure we'll learn more about this game. I'm pretty sure it's coming out in 2018 so we still have a while until we can actually play this game but it looks like an interesting game and I'm definitely a big fan of Yoshi so I'll probably be picking it up anyway but yeah it just looks like a fun game overall. Alright, the next thing that we have is a little bit of information on Skyrim on the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you guys didn't see Bethesda's E3 conference, then you probably don't know about this, but Skyrim is going to be coming on the Nintendo Switch, and the Nintendo Switch version of Skyrim is actually going to have new equipment based off of The Legend of Zelda, and it's going to be really cool. I'll show you some pictures on screen, so you guys can see right here that the Hylian Shield and the Master Sword are going to be in Skyrim as well, so that looks really cool. It's going to be interesting playing through Skyrim like that, and so I'm probably going to be picking up Skyrim anyway, so it looks like it's going to be an interesting way to play. Now I don't know if this is actually like brand new weapons that are put into the game or if this is just like weapons that are already in the game but they just put like a skin over it to make it look like the Master Sword. If you guys know that you can let me know down below but either way the game looks really cool. Alright, next up we've got some information on Breath of the Wild's DLC. So now I was a little bit unsure about Breath of the Wild's DLC. Now you guys know a lot of people were against the idea of Breath of the Wild having DLC because of how they announced that the DLC was going to be happening before the game even came out. If you guys remember that video, I'll show you the dislike to like ratio. You guys can definitely see that it had a lot of dislikes and a lot of people didn't like the fact that Zelda was going to have DLC because of how long they've already spent on developing this game. But after seeing the DLC here, I'm sure that you guys are probably happy by this there's a lot of cool stuff that's coming there's like a new map feature you're going to be able to i think put like something on the map and teleport wherever you want now instead of just like teleporting at shrines and towers and stuff like that so that's going to be really helpful for a lot of people there's new equipment now there's like a new difficulty mode and then the second pack has like a an extra story i think based off of uh the heroes that are in the game so that's going to be pretty interesting so i i'm really excited i'm probably going to end up getting the zelda dlc as well but definitely let me know what you guys think of it. Are you still upset by the fact that it has DLC? Just let me know what you guys feel about that. They also announced that they're going to be having amiibos for all of the three, or not the three, all of the four uh, heroes that are in the game as well, like all of the champions that are in the game. So that's going to be pretty cool as well. So yeah, that's cool stuff that we got to learn about Zelda. Alright, next up we've got some information on Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Now this is a brand new game that's going to be coming onto the Nintendo Switch, but I'm sure you guys have already known about that from like the leaks that have happened, and also Ubisoft talked a lot about this game during their press conference that they had yesterday, so I'm sure you guys already know about this game. They just showed off a little bit of gameplay during the E3 spotlight, but it looks like an interesting game. I'm not sure if I'm going to be picking it up right away, but it definitely does look interesting and I might give it a shot. Alright, next up we've got confirmation that Rocket League is going to be coming on the Nintendo Switch. Now this is definitely a fun game, I know a lot of people play Rocket League on other consoles, and so I'm sure if you guys are excited about this game, you're probably going to be picking it up on the Nintendo Switch. Definitely looks interesting, I know a lot of people are probably happy by this, and the fact that you can take it on the go with you, it's definitely going to be a lot of fun now. So hopefully you guys are happy, those of you who've wanted it, and it definitely looks like an interesting game. It's coming out holiday 2017, so not too long until you guys can actually play it. 
And finally, the last thing that we have to talk about is of course one of the biggest games that's coming out to the Nintendo Switch later this year, Super Mario Odyssey. Now Nintendo showed off a brand new trailer for this game at the end of their spotlight presentation, and I already knew this game was a day one buy for me from the January 12th event, but after seeing this trailer, guys, I am just so hyped for this game. Like first of all, the game looks insanely beautiful, like I know a lot of people right now are talking about 4K gaming, but this game alone shows you how good 1080p can still look, and so I'm definitely really excited at how the graphics look at this game also the game just looks like it's going to be a lot of fun first of all the open world that they have going on the whole open world mechanic the world seem huge and it looks like there's going to be a lot of stuff to explore and i know one big thing that a lot of people are talking about right now is the whole hat mechanic that is shown off during that trailer basically it looks like mario is going to be able to possess anything that he throws his cap into and that just looks like it's going to be a lot of fun because like you can throw your hat into like a goomba and then be able to turn into a goomba you could throw it into like a koopa troopa and turn into a koopa a troopa or a hammer bro or something and that just looks like it's going to be insane like i know as a kid i would always play through mario games and like wish like how could, cool would it be if i could turn into like a bullet bill and play through this game as a bullet bill and the fact that now that's going to be possible is just so insane to me and it's like mind-blowing i can't wait i think so much fun is just going to come out of this game by like throwing your hat and at different things and seeing like what you can turn into and what it does so that's going to be a lot of fun and i think that the game just looks like a, it's going to be a really big massive game and also like you can see like there's a whole bunch of other stuff in the game as well and I think the hats are definitely going to play a big role in this game like you can see there's a hat shop and stuff like that as well so I'm definitely really excited for this game and man guys after thinking about all the stuff that we've gotten this year so far I think this is definitely going to be one of the best years that we've had in gaming especially if you're a Nintendo fan and I can't imagine like what my game of the year is going to be after playing through all of these games like we've gotten so many amazing games this year we've gotten The Legend of Zelda we've gotten Splatoon 2 and we're going to get Super Mario Odyssey as well so I can't imagine like how fun all these games can be and like what my game of the year could possibly be but it's definitely going to be a lot of fun and so yeah i definitely really enjoyed this nintendo uh spotlight presentation that they had for e3 now i do want to quickly mention that Obviously, Nintendo is not going to be able to satisfy everyone, so I'm sure a few of you guys are still a little bit upset by the presentation, but I was pretty much expecting all of this information to be shown, so I'm pretty happy about all the stuff that we got. I mean, I'm sure those people who wanted a Metroid game are so happy right now that the fact that it's actually going to be happening, but I know some of you guys wanted like Animal Crossing to be shown, I know some people wanted Smash Bros. to be shown, and I'm sure those games are going to be happening, but I'm sure like Nintendo just wants to take a little bit of time, especially if they showed all of that stuff this year, then they're not going to have much to show next year so i guess nintendo really just wants to space stuff out so don't worry guys i'm sure we're going to be getting all the stuff that you guys want but yeah don't be disappointed be happy at all of the stuff that we are getting this year and all the stuff that's coming in the future but i definitely think that this year's e3 was a lot of fun and nintendo in my opinion definitely had one of the best e3s i watched all the other like uh, companies that watched playstation's event and xbox's event i really enjoyed an e3 from nintendo's the most i think you know just having 25 minutes of content having a short sweet and to the point was a lot of fun and i think it was just a really good uh, presentation with all the content that they showed so yeah definitely leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to comment down below what you guys feel about nintendo's e3 presentation did you like it did you not like it definitely let me know on all of your thoughts down below and as always if you guys are new to this channel be sure to subscribe you can definitely bet that i'm going to be having a lot of cool nintendo content coming in the future so definitely be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of that go follow me on twitter at actual arrow if you ever want to tweet me something or ask me something i'm always able to reply to everyone that tweets me on twitter so be sure to go and follow me there and yeah guys that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching